Hey guys, so I am not feeling the best today. Two nights ago, I had popcorn. I don't eat corn because it gives me a post-nasal drip, makes me snotty. But I don't know what came over me. Maybe it was the election. Maybe I was just hungry. I ate some popcorn, a lot of popcorn. So the next day I woke up really stuffed up. And then that night I was making chili, cutting jalapenos. Then I stuck my finger in my nose. It was as if hell had entered my body through my nose. I put olive oil up my nose and then woke up this morning and it seems like I have a cold, <laughs> which was probably brought on myself. So I guess what I'm saying is that my sinus doesn't like traditionally Mexican ingredients. So what better time to do a video on supplements and stuff like that than when I am seeming the least healthy. All joking aside, I do get a lot of questions about supplements, especially being vegan. So I'm gonna show you all of the different things that I take. I typically try to get everything I need through my diet. There are a couple of things that are slightly more difficult to get as a vegan, like B12. So I don't take all of these every day, but I'm gonna to explain to you kind of like how I take them and when I take them. So I'm gonna cover like supplements, pills, powders, and extra stuff like that. So the only supplement I really take daily is a B, uh, B complex vitamin. So this is from Now Foods. They have a lot of vegan and vegetarian options, like it says right on the container. I started taking this when I came off my antidepressant. I was on Wellbutrin for several years. Um, and this was like one thing that my doctor was like, you really should supplement at this time. And uh, that was kind of like, regardless of whether you're vegan or not, if you are kind of making any changes in mental health medication, then a B complex can be really helpful. I'm running out of breath because I can't breathe through my nose. I don't really have a ton of knowledge when it comes to supplements, but I knew I wanted a vegan B complex, so that's what I got. My only complaint with these is that they're huge. Maybe that doesn't look that big, but to me that's like, it looks like a suppository or something. Anyway, obviously I can't say for sure if this has helped me, but I would say considering how short of a period I tapered off of that medication in and how kind of m mentally stable I felt compared to what I was expecting, I wouldn't be surprised if this had some part in that. So the one thing I do think I really have noticed is that I think it makes my hair grow quicker and I don't just mean the hair on my head, unfortunately. Even like eyebrows, I feel like I'm having to pluck my eyebrows a lot sooner than I usually would. But I mean, not really a big issue if it's helping my my kind of nervous or mental health. So yeah, that is the only one that I take on a daily basis. It does recommend taking it with a meal, which I do, because if I take like big vitamins like this or multivitamins or anything without food, I will throw up. I think probably just the concentration of what's in there is like not great on an empty stomach. So I usually will eat half of my breakfast, take this and then eat the other half. So it's kind of like sandwiched in between food and it's kind of a little bit more protective of your stomach that way. So it does make your pee kind of a weird color, but whatever. So moving on to one I should take daily, but often forget. I probably do take this like a few times a week, but just not every day because it lives in the fridge, so I forget to take it. But this is the, again, Now Foods Probiotic 10, and it's dairy, soy, and gluten-free, and um, vegan, vegetarian, kosher, non-GMO. I love probiotics. I also try and eat foods that have probiotics in them, and kombucha, stuff like that. But if I have had any kind of like stomach issues, then I do try and get back on the probiotics in a kind of more regular way. So although ideally I would take it daily, I usually forget. And then I will just kind of like boost things back up before I travel or if I feel like I might be getting a little bit sick or something like that. And I also, if I was going to take uh, antibiotics, which touch wood or touch wood, I haven't had to do in quite some time. I would be taking a probiotic, possibly not with it, but immediately after I'd finished, I would definitely take it because antibiotics are really hard on my stomach. So um, that is something I would use for that purpose too, to kind of build that um, good bacteria back up. Definitely recommend probiotics, especially if you have any kind of like stomach problems or imbalances, anything like that. That's that. This next one is something I take if I feel like I might be getting sick, and that is oil of oregano. Oregano. So I'm pretty sure this is like antibiotic, antimicrobial, antifungal, just kind of a good all-rounder for if you feel like you might be getting sick. I don't take this long-term, I will just take it for maybe a week at a time if I feel like I'm about to get sick, and I do find that the things that I do when I feel like I'm about to start getting a cold do seem to kind of like stop it in its tracks, so whether it's this or the um, apple cider vinegar drink I usually make. 
I don't know. And you just take one of these a couple times a day between meals. And like I said, I just take it whenever I feel like I might be getting sick. These also make your burps taste delicious, so I'd recommend. And then the last supplement I have to show you, I do have some other things to show you, that I take on a kind of slightly irregular basis, I guess, is melatonin. This is an extra strength one, again from Now Foods, and it is vegan, non-GMO. <laughs> non-GMO. Melatonin is what helps to regulate sleep. I like to use these if I have been traveling. So instead of letting jet lag set in, I immediately start taking these before bed in the new time zone. Especially if I'm only gonna be there for a short period of time, I really wanna make the most of my time there and not struggle with the time change. I will start taking this the night that I get there, just to kind of kick your body into the new time zone and not struggle so much with the time change and everything. And I just take one, I think like half an hour before bed or something like that. And the other thing I did was when, again, when I stopped taking my antidepressant, I took these probably for the first week that I um, was tapering off just to kind of reinforce that sleep schedule. Although I wasn't having any sleep problems yet, I would rather take it just to kind of reinforce in my body that it's sleeping at the right time. So I know a lot of people love melatonin as a more natural sleep aid. I'm definitely someone who doesn't have any luck with more chemical sleep aids. I was given Ambien after a surgery once just to, again, in theory, make sure that I could sleep that night and it had the complete opposite effect. I was like wide awake and really wired, which I guess is like a pretty rare reaction to have, but not unheard of. And then when I take kind of like over the counter sleep aids, I might get to sleep fine on them, but then I'll either have like night terrors or sleep paralysis and it's just not good. So something like this is ideal for me, especially if I can kind of take it preemptively before my sleep gets messed up, especially if you have mental health problems that you struggle with, sleep is so important, especially having a regular sleep schedule. So if you have those issues and you're also like traveling for work or whatever, I would really recommend trying melatonin because I think it's like very gentle but effective and I don't get any of those other nasty kind of side effects I do with other things. So those four are the only kind of pill supplements I take. I do have a few other things I wanted to show you because a lot of you have asked about like protein powders and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna run through those quickly. Protein wise, lately I've been using the brand Live Well. They are vegan, organic, there's no soy, um, gluten or dairy, no GMOs. And they have it in wild vanilla bean or raw cacao, and I really like them. These are just the little sample packs, but they do come in a bigger size, which I think has like 15 servings in it maybe. And I'm pretty sure I have a discount on these. So anything I'm showing you, I can find a discount for, anything like that, I will put that below as always. I really like them as protein because I have never found a vegan protein that I like mixed with water. I think that it tastes like butt. So I usually will mix it with milk, but if you're on the go and you don't happen to have like soy milk with you or something, it's kind of inconvenient when you want to mix it with water and it just doesn't taste good and you're a big baby about it like I am. So that is one reason why I love these is because I can mix it with water and it still has that kind of like nice milkshake texture to it. It doesn't taste just like gritty water. So these have 17 grams of protein per scoop or per serving and they also have 16 grams of amino acids so I am really liking these I would definitely recommend trying them if you are looking for a vegan protein like I said not powdery or gritty tastes good and they are good mixed just with water too which was definitely something I was looking for so yeah loving these protein powders the next thing I wanted to mention which again is in a smaller size but it does come in a tub is um zeal now I have mentioned this before but I figured I would talk about it in this video just to kind of cover everything so zeal is made Made by a brand Zervita. Zeal is vegan. I'm not sure about their other items. I haven't tried any of their other items, but I love Zeal. So it's like a wellness or nutritional drink. It doesn't have protein in it, but it does have vitamin A, D, thiamine, niacin, folic acid, some B vitamin C, E, and pantothenic acid. Pantera acid. The flavors that these come in are wild berry, which is my favorite. I love this mixed with a little bit of soy milk. Great mix with water as well, but when I mix it with soy milk, it tastes like a strawberry milkshake. They also have tropical dream, which is again, a really good one, but I do prefer this mixed with like water or juice. I wouldn't mix this one with milk. And then there's also bold grape, which is not my favorite, but I'm also just like not a great 
grape flavor lover. The one I usually opt for is the wild berry, like I said, and I do have the tub of this upstairs, but I did just want to show you the different flavors. One thing I love about this is how energizing it is without making me jittery. So it has, I think, guarana in it to kind of give you some energy. And although it does have a lot of ingredients, they're all things that I can pronounce and that I know what they are. So there's yerba mate powder, go-to cola, milk thistle, turmeric, moringa, chlorella, maca powder, which is good for kind of hormone um, balance. <laughs> my brain may have come out through my nose when I blew it. Probably drink this like every other day, sometimes every day. Like I said, I mix it with milk, but it's also great mixed with water. And it's just a nice kind of energizing drink that has a lot of vitamins and minerals in it. So I am pretty sensitive to caffeine and I can't really have more than like two cups of coffee a day. Otherwise I will feel like really really shitty. So that is one reason why I like Zeal is because I can have that. It gives me just as much energy as coffee would but without the kind of like feeling like I'm really on edge. So I do love that. And the other thing I love about it which I've also mentioned before is that I think that this is related to me having less cramps when I have my period. It was something that I noticed but I thought like well it's probably just like a coincidence because I hadn't seen or read anything previously related to this and cramps. So I then asked my friend who had told me about it and she said she'd also heard that from other people too. And then when I actually looked into it, a lot of people were like, has anyone else found that this like lessens their cramps? So I don't know what the ingredient is that does that, but if I drink this like the day before my period and the day of my period, I really don't notice much or any cramping at all. So I do think there is some connection there. Can't really tell you exactly what it is, but I have noticed that this definitely helps with cramps. And I don't know if it's just because of the, you know, high amounts of vitamins and stuff in it, just kind of like make things easier for your body, but I'm sticking with it. So definitely a great wellness drink, energizing, vitamins and minerals, and also I'm pretty sure it helps with cramping. So another thing I try and drink if I do feel like I need like a boost or like some <laughs> mental help is brain dust. So this is from Moon Juice. And I got this on Petit Bois. They carry, I think, all of their stuff on there. And they're just little individual sachets, but they do also come in jars too. So you can choose, you know, which would work best for you. And it has a ton of different good ingredients in it. All very natural. So it's a lot of herbs, mushrooms, maca again, rhodiola. And yeah, I make this with steamed milk. Almost as like a tea or coffee drink. I really, really like it like that. That. but you can also mix it with like hot or cold water or whatever you want basically so just a series of really natural ingredients that are meant to give you some kind of like brain power in some way I think it tastes really good so although I obviously can't say if it you know helps my brain I like it and maybe it's a placebo maybe it's not but I'm gonna keep drinking it so love these and I would definitely check out their other ones too because they have ones for like sleep spirituality um, sex they got you covered and then the last thing I want to show you is a jar of poop. No, it's not really poop. It is chaga, which is a type of fungus, mushroom. Looks a bit like chunks of wood. This is local that my friend gave to me. I guess it's dubbed as like king of the medicinal mushrooms. And basically I just make a tea out of it. So I'll take like a chunk or two, boil it in some water for a while until the water goes a fairly dark color. And then either drink it just like that or I'll add milk in as well. ChagaHQ.com says it stimulates and regulates the immune system, nutritional support in the fight against cancer, reduces inflammation, anti-aging and skin problems, ulcers and gastritis and supports normal cholesterol levels and blood pressure. So yeah. Just something I make a tea out of. This is another thing I might take if I'm feeling a bit run down or under the weather in any way. In fact, I'm probably gonna go make some after this, but I do think it's kind of a cool tea, medicinally healthy thing. And you can get it in powders too, but I kind of like it like this because I feel like I'm casting a spell on myself. So that's why I use it. Okay. I've got to go before my nose starts streaming. Hopefully this was helpful to you guys. If you do have any questions, leave them below. You may well think it's all nonsense, but that's okay because I'm the one taking them. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.